and be on TV and get a Courage Award like Caitlyn Jenner at ESPN. That's right. That's right. Hey, you can declare because you feel like it that you're a, a, a third gender. Wait a minute. I'm going to go to you in a minute. Can we pull up that I've announced I've come out of the closet? Can you guys pull it up? Uh, the video is Alex Jones comes out of the closet. Um, I, I've come out of the closet, but but not that I'm a woman. Or not that I'm gay. But that, not that I'm a space alien or a blood-drinking lizard from the planet Pop-Tart. No, I've come out. Do we have the video ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going to pull it up. I mean, it, it's in the system. I know I just sprung it on you. Uh, the video's on Infowars.com. Alex Jones has now come out of the closet. While they're finding it, what do you think this obsession with this stuff is? And is it about diverting from the fact that we're all losing our basic rights so the new right is that women can pee standing up? I don't know. It's, uh, to me, it's uh, uh, proof of the uh, uh, psychological problem that they've noticed with rats. You know, uh, you put a few rats in a cage, they get along just fine. You put too many rats in a cage, they start going nuts and they turn on each other. And I think maybe that's it. There's too many people crammed together in... And, and so people don't feel like they have a future. They don't feel like they can be creative. Used to, you wanted to explore, you wanted to invent, you wanted to build, you wanted to have art. Now it's, I'm going to have green arm hair. That shows that I'm mad at men. I'm going to pee standing up. I mean, I'm not joking. They have serious shows going, women are peeing standing up. This is the true feminism. And it's just like, it's like, it's just stupid. Well, I don't care. Like uh, Bruce. Jim I mean, I'm going to freak out if I walk in the men's bathroom and that's going on. Bruce Jenner can call himself anything he wants to, but when it comes down to biologically, he's a man. And I did you see what they said on uh, CNN? The, the, the one of the co-hosts said, "I'll put you in a hospital if you say that again." Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. There, that's uh, that's tolerance. That see, that's, the left, uh, the leftists and the the crazies, they they practice tolerance, and if you don't want tolerance, they'll beat the crap out of you and put you in the hospital. And, and you know, I would think of you as a classical liberal. You're for drug decriminalization. You're for alternative energy. I mean, the liberals, you know, you know, really, you know, really like you, but you're not a fascist. I, I mean, you're not wanting to arrest. I mean, it's not that we care if some guy wants to be a woman. I don't want to pay for it. No, and I, I, I differ with you. I don't, I've never thought of myself as a liberal. I think of myself more as a conservative. But what it Well, I meant like a classical liberal yeah. like Thomas Jefferson. Well, that's it. It's like if you're conservative, what is it that you want to conserve? Uh, too many uh, so-called conservatives today, particularly the rhinos, you know, they want to conserve the status quo. And that's not me. What I want to conserve is the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the idea of freedom. Private property, do and what you want. Private property and equality. You know, I, you know, when the, when the Civil Rights thing came around, and I stopped and thought about it, and I was a good old redneck Southern Texas boy, but I thought, you know, they got a point. Why should somebody be discriminated against because of the color of their skin? I said, I'm backing off. I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to, I'm going to help them out. I, whatever, let's all just be equal. But, you know, it's, it's not even equal anymore. <laughs> Now, now it's reverse racism, and people just don't get it because, you know, I think everybody, if I say I'm going to vote for this person because he's black, okay, well, you know, that's just as much racism as to say I'm going to vote against I would vote for a black Ron Paul and wouldn't even think what color they were. Right. I, mean, I, I could literally, or a woman. But they're going to make, if we don't want Hillary, that we're against women. Well, no, no, no. See, I, that same way. I, I have no problem at all with a woman in the White House. I just, not Hillary, because I don't think she qualifies. Well, yeah, because she probably actually is a man in drug. She's the reverse of Jenner. Well, no, yeah. actually, she is Jenner. <laughs> they're, Generally speaking. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> you, know, the, you know, they actually say that Michelle is a, is a tranny. Uh, they, yeah, I heard that, and I, I snickered that one off until I really looked at it seriously. And she's got... I think there's some question there. You don't think that's like a cigar she's hiding in her pants? <laughs> well, it could be. It could be. She, she might just have saggy panties. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I don't want to go there. I mean, I'm still having trouble enough trying to tell people, uh, explain uh, the problem of two planes knocking down three buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when they uh, El Chapo Jenner, it shot off like a missile and blew up building seven. Yeah. I mean, I mean that makes as much sense. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. It's a family show. But this is what's <laughs> in the news. How do you not talk about it? Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, if they're just force feeding all this garbage. Uh, we do have the video. So this is my coming out. I have become a dog, a oh. uh, a a uh, bloodhound. Right. I am trans species, and if you don't agree with it, 
then you're a racist. Here it is. But if you love your daughter, you know, Caitlyn make- Jenner is actually the real El Chapo. The problem is he hasn't actually done the chopping, so I say he's a fraud. But me, <laughs> I've gone and I've had surgery and I've had these prosthesis ears added. <laughs> I am now choosing to be transzoological, I believe is the term. I may just have to be transabled and chop my arms and legs off and uh, be known as a biscuit and live in a box. I'm taken care of. And if you don't accept it, you're hateful. In fact, if you don't adopt my lifestyle and wear dirty brown socks on your ears after you work out, you're a racist, you're a homophobe, you're an anti-zoological phobe, you're a piece of filth. So now, I become my new self. (laughs) That's real, I actually... You know, I saw the latest conspiracy. I think I sent it to Nico. Because what's it's sad that all these schizophrenics and mentally ill people that are now online, they have a voice, which is good. Everybody has a voice now. Sure. But now they don't just think I'm Bill Hicks. They think Rush Limbaugh is, wait for it, <laughs> Jim Morrison. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, that one is even better. Uh, that was a good one, Alex. Uh, I've got a fire hydrant out there I want to introduce you to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll love it. Love it first. You know, actually, since I put those ears on, I have been peeing on fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> and it's my right to do it. That's right. It's my right. I, I deserve a courage award. There it is. Rush Limbaugh, a.k.a. Jim Morrison, was Bill Hicks, a.k.a. Alex Jones, influence to get on radio. So that's how it's all connected. I, I mean, look at this. And This is not satire. These people actually back it up, back it up. They actually, on this video... Show side by side since say Rush Limp plus Jim Morrison. <laughs> They're so crazy. Yeah, I know. How silly can you be? I mean, everybody knows you're actually Carl Rove. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. David Mendelson. <laughs> Listen, I, I did this video where I said I was really a British thespian as a joke. People think it's real now. They're searching David Mendelson. Uh, That's the thing. They won't admit that glyphosate is connected to brain damage and that one half of the kids in the country by 2025 are going to be brain damaged. That's admitted and is epic. The government admits fluoride's brain damaging us now. Right. But no one will talk. Or they admit chemtrails are real. No one will cover the real documents. They just want to speculate. And then that's how the media tries to discredit us. You know, I'm just trying to cover up. I'm really, I'm actually Jim Morrison. <laughs> I'm insulted. I mean, I like Bill Hicks at some levels, but I think Jim Morrison as a musician was more interesting. So actually, I am Jim Morrison. Where you're being accused of it, you might as well uh, go for it. Uh. <laughs> oh, they're already connecting me. He says, "Ah, Jim, Jim, we'll be spawns of Satan together." Guess we're talking about us. Where are you going? Actually, are you really Jim Morrison? <laughs> you have to do something with your hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop. Start getting into your book. Get into the more serious okay. areas, and then you know, a lot of times we go out and have a beer together. That's a lot of fun. That's right. And we look up at seven hours this past? Hey, that would be your fourth hour right there. You just move to a local pub and, and sit around and have a few beers and then uh, just talk honestly. Please don't give me that idea. <laughs> That's actually, we've actually had that idea, but I've pretty much quit drinking to lose weight. Uh, and uh, so, you know, I only drink after six now. Uh, and, of course, it's always six somewhere on the planet. Well, maybe I'm being sarcastic. Maybe, I'm not a heavy drinker. If you're already <laughs> drinking six, maybe you ought to cut it down to two. I mean, I'd only drink at six. I, I, oh, I get it cut from six to two. I, I only that. have two at two and three at three and four at four and five at five and six at six. And Well, hey, take me. I don't drink anymore or any less. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. No, we'll go have already. Mexican food and have a Dos Equis or two. There you go. I mean, let's be honest. We're not that cool. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, Anyways, I apologize, Jim Mars. You're here with your new best-selling book. That's right. Tell I'm us about good. it. No, listen, I, I'm serious by my book because uh, there's a lot of information in there of how you can protect your family and your loved ones because they, I mean, it, it, okay, we'll, we, when I get my chance, I'm going to tell you uh, about some of the really bad stuff that's going in everything, aspartame and, and monosodium. Blood. And most of our audience knows this. But they already fa- know this. Their but- families don't. Exactly. And this way you can go, here's a prestigious author, Jim Morrison, Who's written this new book? You need to read it. But what I'm gonna what I'm gonna tell you is is that even the even the good stuff is bad. Uh, the uh, incidence of obesity 
in this country has shot up 85. Look how fat Jim Morrison got. That's right. <laughs> uh, he used to be really skinny. Now he weighs like 400 pounds and hosts a radio show. I, I, I say I hate to sit here and talk about obesity, but no, <laughs> Alex, actually, I think you've lost some weight. I really do. Thank you. I really do. Anyway, well, I am still. Here's the difference. In fact, I'm just going to take my clothes off on air. Let's just do it right now. Oh, no, please. No, 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 no. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Don't do it? Don't do it. Well, no, no. I mean, I'll just show people how much weight I've actually lost. I've actually lost almost 70 pounds. I believe it. But, but that shows how fat I got. Now I'm like 230. I was like 280. Well, I have all the admiration in the world for people that can actually gut it out. Well, I've been to the doctor and the nutritionist. I got 10 more pounds to lose. Wow. But the um, thing is, I have a really big, giant, round head. So no matter what I do, it'll always look like I have a big, fat head. <laughs> Jim Mars, you're going to host the entire next hour. You're going to take phone calls as well. Some stations don't carry the fourth hour, but they're welcome to. We're reintroducing it. We're going to start having guest hosts. I'll host it some. We'll have roundtable discussions. Yukari Jackson's going to host. Rob Dew's going to host. Um, David Knight's going to host. Uh, uh, Darren McBreen loves to do live. He's going to be hosting. Uh, we can have roundtable with the control room crew. They're really smart guys and gals. They're going to be in here. That's what it's all about. Three hours of pumpkin head. And then uh, you get uh, the garden gnome. See, he's calling me that names. I can strike back. Anyways, he, he actually is a little garden gnome in the corner of my garden. That's where he lives in my backyard. Jim Mars. Now, Jim Mars is a sweetheart. Your wife's back there. I want to say hi to her. You can take a bathroom break or get some coffee or anything you need during these breaks coming up. But some stations don't carry a lot. Do Infowars.com forward slash show to find the free video feed and audio feeds to see and hear that fourth hour. He will be serious for the first 20, 30 minutes. Please go over your book, break it down, and then take phone calls. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231 uh, to talk to Jim Mars. Uh, or Actually, he's really Rush Limbaugh, and then the Rush Limbaugh is really uh, Jim Morrison, and I'm really Rush Limbaugh. Uh, or I'm the Loch Ness Monster. So 800-259-9231 is the toll-free number to join us. But you wanted to talk about some good news during the break. Good news. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you know, uh, consciousness is rising, but it's also creating a problem because the more people wake up, <laughs> the more the New World Order clamps down. Absolutely. Explain that to people. You're saying when you started doing this 50 years ago, you've been around that long. Yeah. In fact, you may actually be the real Gandalf. <laughs> uh, no, I'm Santa. <laughs> the, it's, you know, I'm not uh, actually that old, but uh, it's true. When I started off, uh, and I'd be on radio shows or whatever, and I'd try to tell people, you know, there, there's a clique of people trying to run the world, and uh, they, they're meeting in secret societies, and they're trying to set the agenda, and they're trying to run everything. And I'd get these calls coming in saying, hey, how do you let this guy on the air? You know, this guy's a nut, you know. This guy's a conspiracy theorist. This guy's a buff. And this guy's an idiot. You know what? The last 10 years or so, I don't get those calls anymore. I'm sure those people may still be out there, but they're keeping them to themselves. Well, you know, it was declassified uh, in congressional hearings many years ago that the CIA in the 60s started using that term. The Clintons in their uh, first presidential run, it's been released by their library. That they said anyone criticizing them, call them a conspiracy theorist. Oh, exactly. No, no, it goes back to 1954. Uh, no, 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 1967, I believe, after the Kennedy assassination. And there was a, a document uh, filed by the CIA's uh, Division of Intelligence and went to all their bases and all their assets. And if you know anything about Mockingbird, media. it went to the media and it said anybody that's questioning, the, basically anybody questions the government, you call them a conspiracy theorist. And that's why it's interesting. I, I have a 1940 dictionary, and you go look up conspiracy, and it says a plan. That's all it was, a plan. Yeah, so if we ever talk about bad people having plans in government or corporations, it doesn't exist. Well, everybody knows it does. Of course. The, the, our legal system puts people in jail every year convicted of conspiracy. Ladies and gentlemen, in 70 seconds, we return with the fourth hour hosted by Jim Mars. I'm Alex Jones. Totalitarianism comes in many different flavors throughout history. It can come from the right wing, the left wing. It can come from religious cults. It can come from a foreign invading army. And in the modern 21st century, 
It's basically coming from political correctness, masquerading as the Renaissance, masquerading as liberalism. It seeks to shut down free speech and the controlled global